the light of my life and the reason I wake up in the morning. There is a story that says soulmates are the atoms at the Big Bang that were next to each other and spend the rest of time looking to get back with each other. In that way I felt that we were always destined to be together since the start of everything. Uh, today, in front of everyone, uh, <laughs> I promise to show you that I love you is more than words, it's actions, it's thoughts and feelings and sharing our dreams, whether it's sharing my food when I'm full or not full, <laughs> whether it's just cuddling up and watching a movie or doing something that we both want to do together. I love you and I couldn't think of anyone better to spend the rest of my life with. Josh, be my biggest cheerleader and the only person I love more than Buster. The handsomest man in uniform and the worst at spotting my flirtatious hints. <laughs> Thank you for everything you are and everything you mean to me. Thank you for putting up with my appalling puns, my inability to tell my right from my left, and my chronic overthinking. I want to promise you the world, but I could only promise you myself. I promise to always join in with car karaoke. I promise to chuckle at most of your jokes and always find the perfect opportunity for a terrible one. And I promise to always tell you the truth, especially when it comes to your beard attempts. You've not seen it, it's not good. I promise to be there through all the broken bones and hopefully provide better directions than we're by some trees. I just spin over. I also promise my heart and everything that I am. I promise you all my time and my full attention. And I promise whenever life gets a bit much, you'll be the first to know what's on my mind. I promise to share with you what I have and what I'm yet to gain. And most of all, I promise you every ounce of my love and adoration. Sometimes I love you doesn't feel like enough, but the love you give to me always is, and I hope to always give the same to you. I promise to adore you more each day, night, and for the rest of our lives. Nils, your mother and I are so proud of you and are truly blessed and grateful that we call you our daughter. You can and have achieved anything you set your mind on and we love you so much. Now advice to the new couple. Never be afraid to say, I'm sorry, or I love you. They can be the hardest words to say sometimes, but mean the most in certain situations. Find your own meaning of life together and enjoy life and have a happy one. So you've chosen to spend the rest of your lives together. You can't get more committed than that, and it won't always be easy. As Matt was said in his speech, never be afraid to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, or I love you. And when we got married, the vicar, because we did churches in those days, told Matt never to wait for an occasion to buy flowers or chocolates. Every day is special, so make every day count. Companionship is about being good company for the person you've chosen to share your life with, being best friends. Companions don't just love each other, they genuinely like each other too and really enjoy spending time together. <laughs> you make each other so happy and I think the picture that your dad shared kind of proves that, so don't ever change. So the F word, family, friends. Today, Millie and Josh both officially gain another family, doubling the love, attention, help, support, forgiveness and acceptance, whether deserved or not, the gift of family brings. I know in the Englands, albeit from a distance for some time, and more recently understanding the values that they hold, the way they unconditionally love their family, their generosity, kindness, resilience, and just how fun, loving, and slightly crazy they are. 
fills us with joy and absolute confidence that Millie is very lucky to be joining the England family and she will fit in perfectly. Josh and Millie, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends here today. And so, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you are now husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss.